This is the camp area we stayed at in Corindai. Corindai. Quilpie. Oh dear, too many places. Anyway, near the water. Um, the only problem is if you're down here with an unpowered site, like we were, which is close to the water, that's great. But all the toilets and showers and facilities are up there where the powered sites are. Nowhere near the water. So it's a long way to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's a not not good. Okay, so this morning we came in and did the dawn service at Quilpy and um, a very nice little service followed by bacon and eggs and uh, baked beans if you wanted and a bit of rum if you wanted it that so was very very good this is a little park now i have to highly praise this town the council pays for the um for the for the food and it was visitors as well like we don't even live here and the um the food was free last night we went to a twilight service which is the first one i have ever been to or ever heard of and um after the service we we're all invited to go back to the local club and we had a complete meal like not just not just a, a, a cheap meal we had a, a meal um yeah it was it was absolutely brilliant and it was all paid for by the local council so i can't recommend this place highly enough so if you ever come to quilpie uh yeah, stay, spend a few dollars, great place. On the road to Baldy Top Lookout, just outside Corby, and um, we'll see what it's like. Might have to climb a bit. Might have to get out, do some physical exercise. That's not good. Okay, we've just got into the car park for Baldy Hill Lookout, which is up there. This is going to be good. I'm really looking forward to climbing up there. Okay, this little car down there, and we're at the rest chair. Bloody hell! I didn't realise how much I am. Anyway, I'll keep going. So the wife's decided to not go any further. I think some of the falling rocks might have put her off. It's not that far up there. We've just got to find a way. Okay. Okay. I've made it to the top. And we have 360 degree views all the way around. Pretty spectacular. The wife's down at the bottom there. That's as far as you go, and let's go for a look over here. I'll show you a bit of a from the other side. I'm not sure what that is down there. Anyway, but uh, here we go. Looking from the other side. Pretty cool. This is the sort of places you want to go and see. It's no good just hanging around towns. 
get out there, get amongst it. Enjoy it, that's all I can say. Today we're off to Adderbale, approximately 100 k's roughly from Quilby and the last 16, 17 k's of this road is going to be dirt so uh, fingers crossed, um, yeah fingers crossed everything goes alright but uh, after Adderbale we might not be in service for uh, a couple of days. We're going to try and get from Adderdale out to Hellhole Gorge. We'll see how we go. We'll just take a little activity for that one. Alright, catch you later. Okay, still interesting to see what's going on around the place. Pubs in there, information centre, and not a lot. I'm sure there is more to the town than this, but I'm not sure. I need to find a town map and take a look around. I'm sure this uh, find some things. And our plans is to go from here, leave the motorhome and go out to Hell Hall, but probably not till tomorrow now. Leave it, we'll just have a rest for the rest of the day and then, uh, yeah, go up to Hell Hall Gorge. And this is where we're staying, the campground here. And like most things in the Kobe Shire, some of the locals and maybe play tennis. I don't think so, but we'll go over and be sociable. At the moment I'm at the hall, which also houses the amenities buildings at the uh, campground, the donation camp. And all around the wall is a bit of local history of the town. Uh, it's well worth the read. I'm not going to read it all right now, but uh, 
from the bits and pieces I've read, it's very interesting. And apparently this town died because the railway that was supposed to be coming through here was rerouted down towards Quilpy. So, yeah, unfortunately now there's not too many people live here, but uh, very friendly. We've just been over to their Anzac Day after, well, after service get together. We were invited to go over there and um, had a few drinks, a good feed, and um, yeah, this whole Quilpie Shire, yeah, I can't, I can't fold it. It's an excellent place. Okay, so the, today we're off to Hellhole Gorge. It's an 80, uh, an 80 kilometre roughly drive from Adavale, and it is all dirt road. Uh, we've left the motor home at Adavale in the free camping area, and we're just taking this cruise out in. So it's probably takes a while because we're not going too fast. It's pretty set of dirt, and, um, pretty good at the moment, but every now and then they throw a spanner in the works. Yesterday we drove out from Cookley to Adavale. We thought we did okay. We found out we'd broken one of the fog lights on the little Suzuki. It still works, but the lens is gone. So uh, that may be a while before we can find somewhere we can get that replaced. Anyway, we'll uh, let you know more when we get there. Okay, we have just got to the gate which lets us into the National Park where Hell's Hole is situated. So we have the gate opener, official gate opener, <laughs> and here we have the sign, and I'm just going to pull up up here, I won't make a walk, because there's a little board here, and uh, we'll take a read, okay. Okay, so we have arrived at the start of the walking track, which is just there, and we are going to head towards Hellhole Gorge, have a little stroll down here, and um, I don't know, camera ready, who knows what we might see, but um, yeah, it's not too hot, which is good. It's going to be a, hopefully, a not too hard a walk. All right. Okay, here's the sign. To help hold 580 metres. Follow the markers. If you look down there, there's a marker just down there. Uh, might not be able to see it. Apparently, there's one in the distance, so it's, it's pretty well laid out. You can see the, you can see the track, or what's that track? You can see the direction you're supposed to go, and um, yeah, it's a little bit different to what we've been looking at. We'll just keep gliding along, and I'll do a bit more video on after. This is just a little offshoot. This is not the actual gorge. This is at the very start of the track. If you look down to the right from the marker, you can see this. It's um, a smaller gorge. I'm not sure what this one's called and uh, down there it's still quite nice in its own but uh, we'll keep heading up this way got a bit of water here to cross could end up with wet feet <laughs> they never told me about that but anyway Oh, there we go. I can see the other marker across the other side. This is the, at the top of this first little gorge. There's that water where the water runs down from the creek, runs down into it. And the marker is 
across the other side. So to get to that, dear, we will just walk. <laughs> no one said it was going to be easy. I'll have to stop filming so I can watch what I'm doing. that have a bit of rain I would imagine this would be a raging torrent coming through here drops off into the gorge just there the um, water up the top here before we get to the gorge is a little bit brown probably reflects some of the rain that they've had washed a lot of the sediment in I understand that it can be really quite clear hoping to see a few few birds down here I can take some photos of but um, so far nothing unusual Okay, we're here. This is Hell's, Hell's Hole Gorge. And this is the water hole. Uh, it's a pity about the colour of the water, but um, let's go with the flow. I haven't seen much in the way of bird life. It's supposed to be the redback king, the redback kookaburra, supposed to be here, along with a few other birds that I. I've yet to take photos of. So, yeah. Maybe not what a lot of people are expecting, but um, yeah, it's just a nice little oasis. You can understand why it would be uh, of such importance to the local Aborigines. So, yeah, very nice. Okay, just on the way back from uh, the waterhole, and we're going to go down and have a look at Spencer's waterhole, which is only just 1.2, little side track. We'll go down this little dirt track here, and um, we'll see what's at the end of it. Okay, this is Spencer's waterhole, which was just up the road. Again, everywhere these these um, channels go and they form these little gorges we have life clinging on in the way of big trees and I can hear a lot of little birds down there but um, nothing exceptional and apparently in all these water holes along here there are actually fish and mussels freshwater mussels so um, a valuable I guess um, source of uh, food for the locals when they used to live out this way. Okay, this is the spot we were told about that um, is one of the reasons you don't bring caravans out here. The uh, angle of in and the angle out has seen a lot of caravans get stuck. It's uh, not real smooth, and um, yeah, people have had to be rescued for you. And um, seeing you've got no telephone service here, or um, yeah, you'd be lucky to get anybody on the radio. Maybe a sat phone would be your only choice, but uh, yeah, best not to bring a caravan.
for this. My wife's uh, making us a couple just before we leave the park. That will go down very well. And um, maybe a few biscuits to go with it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately there's not a table here to sit on, so we'll just have to sit. And this is right at the entry. This is right at the entry to the park. And um, yeah, we were hoping there'd be a little table you could sit at and maybe have a... But uh, no, there wasn't. So we just decided to pull up here on the way back and have a cuppa. Cheers. Okay, so this is another place we were told about um, that may have water across it. And we were told that it would be safe to drive across because it's not very deep and it's got a hard bottom. Um, there's no water across it. It's very like a hard, hard bottom here. A bit rough. And you can see that there is water around. There is water just on the other side. Up there. show you which way to go because you could get lost <laughs> and there's plenty of water up there see the oasis and one down the other way it's quite a pretty little spot and but yeah and I guess if it was really 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 bad weather and flooding then you wouldn't be able to walk through it but, uh, yeah the locals uh, down at Adavale um, very funny and um, they told us or gave us a bit of a heads up on the road so um, yeah much appreciated. Okay we've just come across three Wild dogs or dingoes. I'm having trouble here. I'll give my wife one across the road and two on this side. They look a little bit hungry. Yeah. Just looking for this one's waiting for the other one, I think. They are at the moment baking in here, aerial baits for the dingoes too. Uh, yeah, I don't know where the other one went. I'll just put it in the park and hop out. I don't know whether I can get a okay. don't know whether I can get a better photo on that one. Yeah. I can't see where it went. Oh yeah, okay. He's over there. He's not going to hang around now. No. Nah. He's gone. He's, he's hightailed it. There was another one went across the road first. So there was three of them. I guess the advantage of having the little Suzuki is that it's very quiet. And um, yeah, you can sneak up on a lot of things. <laughs> Unexpectedly.